Hi, um, my name is Tristan Carter. Uh, I'm an assistant professor in anthropology and social sciences. Even though I'm in the Department of Anthropology, my particular skill, my particular research interest is archaeology. That's uh, something I've been working on in the field uh, for the past 20 years. My particular research interest, um, loosely stated, is East Mediterranean prehistory. So I work in what today are uh, called Greece and Turkey. Um, the archaeological cultures I'm dealing with spanning sort of late hunter-gatherers, the transition to early agriculture, Epipaleolithic, Neolithic and our nerdy terminology, all the way up to state level societies and uh, the so-called Bronze Age civilizations of the Minoans on Crete and uh, the Mycenaeans in mainland Greece. The classes I've taught uh, since I got to MAC, um, I've been teaching the first term introduction to world prehistory, which uh, a class I really, really like. It's, it's crept up to about 270 students last year. For me that class is like supremely important because it kind of sets out our stall in terms of like what the Department of Anthropology offers, uh, particularly with regard to archaeology. It's, you know, the, the two out of the last three years, it's been the first class on the first day of term. So I really feel it's like, you know, sort of hit the ground running. This is our chance to sort of capture the interest of the students and then also not to just make it sort of an introduction to uh, world archaeology, but also an introduction to archaeology that you can do at McMaster. And so it's very much sort of a signpost class to, you know, if you're interested in this, then go and work with this professor, take that class. And then also to sort of highlight, you know, from the get-go some uh, sort of research potentials that, you know, the undergraduates themselves can get involved with. And I've been lucky enough, or, you know, I think we're all lucky enough that at McMaster we have certain pots of money through experiential education and McMaster University Mobility Allowance that has allowed me over the last three years to send, you know, first year students immediately into the field. I've had one person go off and work on a UNESCO World Heritage Site in Peru. I've taken two people to work with, you know, one of the world's most famous archaeologists on an island in Greece. Uh, this summer I'm taking two undergraduates to a project in Turkey. Somebody else is already in Crete. And, you know, these are first year students. Um, so it's a phenomenal opportunity. Thank you.